Good evening from Washington. I'm Larry O'Connor, and this weekend we had the White House Correspondent Association dinner. Uh, you know, we used to do this thing all the time. Then during the Trump presidency, they suspended the operations because there's nothing funny about Donald Trump being president. Actually, I thought it was a pretty funny presidency myself, but, but not if you're a White House reporter. I mean, the First Amendment was at stake after all. But now that Joe Biden's in the White House, oh, everything's great with the First Amendment, right? So uh, let's watch a little bit of this White House Correspondent Association dinner because they gave out an award for really good journalism to a guy from the Washington Post. But listen carefully about why he won the award. The judges said Matt Visor stood out among his competitors for work that went beyond the humdrum of covering the managed events of the presidency and the White House. Visor captured the spirit of Joe Biden, particularly with stories about the president's brother and how his Catholic faith influenced his strategic vision of the office. The WHCA is pleased to give the Aldo Beckman Award to Matt Visor. Isn't that nice? Yeah, he, uh, he ignored the humdrum of managed White House events and drilled down to capture the spirit of Joe Biden, particular stories about the president's brother and how his Catholic faith influenced his strategic vision of the office. Yeah, who wants to follow humdrum managed events from the White House when you can just reprint their press releases about what a great Catholic he is? Now, let's set aside for a moment any investigation that a reporter would do about the president's brother, considering his name is all over the emails that Hunter Biden was sending and receiving with foreign nationals with millions of dollars flowing into the Biden family. I mean, that is worth some investigation, but something tells me, Mr. Visor, that the Washington Post didn't cover that angle of the president's brother. No, let's talk for a moment about, how did they put that again? His Catholic faith and how it influenced his strategic vision of the office. Ah, yes, Joe Biden's Catholic faith. You know, President Biden's Catholic faith was on full display last week. He was surrounded by children of White House staffers. It was take your kid to work day, right? And he answered questions from the gathered little rugrats. One of them had to do with his grandchildren. Here, look at his answer. I have six grandchildren and I'm crazy about them. I speak to them every single day. Not a joke. Fantastic. Of fact, I just got what a lovable, lovable grandpa he is. I've got six children, grandchildren. I love every one of them. He's got seven grandchildren, actually. He refuses to acknowledge the existence of one of them. Not because that kid did anything to harm him. It's not like that grandchild is guilty of anything other than being born to the Biden bloodline. His father is Hunter Biden. His mother is an exotic dancer now living in Arkansas. She was working here in Washington, D.C. when a little over four years ago, Hunter Biden had a drunk, binged encounter with the woman. And the result is Little Navy Biden. That's her name. The DNA tests have already proven that Hunter Biden is the father. There she is with her mom. They're trying to protect her identity, of course, because she's already got a rough go of it. Hunter Biden is being sued for child support in a court right now. He's trying to refuse to even show up for the court dates, let alone pay what he should be paying to raise this little girl. And to add insult to injury, Joe Biden, the grandpa, the good, faithful Catholic, refuses to even acknowledge her existence. You just heard it there. I have six grandchildren. No, he's got seven. And that wasn't just a mistake or a slip of the tongue as we're so used to with this president. No, this is a very deliberate choice to deny the existence of this human being. Look at what the Christmas looks like at the White House under Joe Biden. There's the stockings all hung by the chimney with care. One, two, three, four, five, six. No stockings for little Navy Biden. Now, I could be wrong, but I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on the Catholic faith, Christianity in general, and basic humanity for that matter. And children are not always brought into the world under the exact perfect circumstances. But that doesn't take away from the humanity and the legitimacy of that individual child. And to deny that child's existence 
Well, that's despicable. In fact, some would call it sinful. And that's Joe Biden's Catholicism right there on display. But somehow I don't think that Mr. Visor is his name at the Washington Post who just won an award. I don't think that came up in this article about how the Catholic faith has influenced Joe Biden's strategic vision of the office. Ah, but that's personal, right? That's not politics. That has nothing to do with policy, certainly. So it's okay. You know, that, that's, that's sure he's got personal foibles, I'm sure this reporter said, but about how his Catholic faith influences his presidency, now that's a valid topic of concern. So let's look at some other headlines from the last couple of weeks. How about mm, this one? when the president decided to falsely claim that the U.S. bishops in America had not all uniformly said that we shouldn't have any funding for abortion. In fact, he went even further to say that the Pope doesn't agree that we should oppose funding for abortion in America. Well, the bishops begged to differ. Here's an example from Bishop Strickland in Texas. Mr. Biden can't be allowed to twist the words of Pope Francis in this way. I implore the Vatican Press Office to emphatically clarify that Pope Francis rightly calls abortion murder. It's time to denounce Biden's fake Catholicism. See, there's your ultra-Catholic president there using his Catholic faith as some sort of shield, some sort of force field against any criticism as he falsely claims that the Catholic Church is just fine with public funding for abortion. They're not. They're not in any way whatsoever. And bishops publicly have rebuked him for that. Did that make its way into this award-winning article that the White House Correspondents Association just decided to acknowledge? Or what about this latest dust-off? This is just from two weeks ago. Walter Reed Military Hospital right here in Washington, D.C. has discontinued a relationship with Catholic priests. Here's how we wrote it up at Town Hall. Catholic Biden hits priests with cease and desist order. Yeah. There's your super-duper Catholic president telling priests to cease and desist praying for wounded and ill members of the military. And by the way, this happened during Holy Week. So Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Sunday. If you wore the uniform and you're being cared for at Walter Reed and you're Catholic, good luck. Because this super-duper Catholic president wanted to go to war with priests for some ungodly reason. Did that make its way into the award-winning Washington Post article about, how did they put that again? How Biden's Catholic faith influenced his strategic vision for the office. Well, that's certainly a strategic vision, isn't it? Listen, the White House Correspondents Association is gonna do whatever they want, obviously, and they're not gonna take any advice from anyone over here. Going ahead and giving out awards for all that journalism stuff that's going on with reporters reporting on the president. But please, don't insult our intelligence by giving the award to the person who has written about, Catholic, about Biden's deep abiding Catholic faith, because it's non-existent. The real story about Joe Biden's deep abiding Catholic faith is how he, in his personal life and in his politics is completely at odds with everything the church has stood for. But that ain't winning any awards anytime soon. That's what makes this town work. There's more to come on O'Connor tonight. Keep it here. Salem News Channel.